Welcome to the world famous Whistler. Here's what's coming up on this episode. Let's start the show. I like Anookshooks. Mountains. <laughs> Well, I've been waiting for this train to come and take me away Well, I can hear around the corner, it'll be your end and they say Well, hey, 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 hey And I've been waiting for this train to come and take me all night Well, I've been sleeping in the station, I've been busking for donations, alright Well, yeah, alright Welcome to Well Over Par Whistler episode, episode number three, if you're keeping count at home. Uh, today we're starting things out, we're going to hit the Whistler Golf Club, absolutely beautiful course. Then it's the day off, we're going to check out the more recreational types of things. A little Whistler bungee, a little Whistler zip truck, the peak to peak, the world famous peak to peak, then we'll probably find a little watering hole. What's coming up on day three? Day three, I believe we're playing a course called Nicholas North, might be named after a famous golfer, I'm not too sure. And then day four, my favorite part, the loser gets his chest waxed. Now, I'm 2-0 through the first two episodes, so Sully should be very concerned. The good news is, though, I have two chest hairs, so not that bad. Hey, baby, I would like to see you soon. Got lucky. Bounced off a tree in the middle of the fairway. I'm 250 out. I can't see the green. I'm going to wrap it around. And if it's a good shot, I'm gonna run up Sergio Garcia, do a little, yeah, if it's bad, I'm gonna throw my club at run. Oh, a little card path action. That's right, nail the fairway. Is it upsetting yeah. that you have to rely on the cart path to make your ball go far? No, actually it's not. Okay, well I'll should. take any help I can get. You need it. <laughs> Gonna take a nice hop. There it is, little, little. It's alright, I'm dancing. It's an ugly dance. It's a foxtrot, but it's something um, to dance. That's all that matters. Okay, here with Danica. She's got the most important role in the entire course. She's got to fill the golf cart with booze, and then sell the booze to terrible golfers like ourselves. Uh, Danica, what are we looking at in the golf cart? What are you carrying here? Um, well, we've got all types of uh, beer. We've got domestic four packs that we offer, a nice Corona with a lime, uh, a shot of uh, Ye a cold Jaeger or tequila for you. Very nice. And now, of course, everyone here has a nickname. You're rocking Zumba. What's the deal with that? Uh, Zumba, it's a Latin dance fitness class that I teach here um, in Whistler, so I do get lots of questions about it. If you want to show me any of your salsa moves, that would be uh, great. Oh, you asked for it. <laughs> Those hips don't lie. Those hips do not lie. My golf card does the score, but yeah, I'm just going to wrap the interview right there. 285 yard hole, laying off the blues. That's my ball, past the pin. I'm putting for eagle. It's always in a world hurt. Awesome. Get going, please. <laughs> it's my closest putt all day. Fudge Sickles. So the play on this hole, because it's deception pass, is to lay up. The deception is that you can drive it over. That's not a deception for me, because I drive the ball deep. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna show a replay when you gutter your ball of you saying that. That's good. <laughs> Adam's very upset right now. He's 
looking for the second quality shot. He can't find it. He doesn't know where his first one is. He's looking in the lake for his second ball right now. He's probably not going to find it. But he's he's chipper, you know? He's got a, He's got a good attitude towards other sports like volleyball and, and children. Welcome to Twitter at The Turn. We're at the nine here at the Worcester Golf Club. Now, of course, Twitter at The Turn rules. You send us a tweet to at well over par golf. We may read it on air, just like what's gonna happen. We right may, now. we may read it on yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, I emphasized, but didn't emphasize. Anyway, uh, at Tara Goslow, first one up, this is for Adam. Um, this is a kind of a general question, but nonetheless. Uh, she works in Kamloops. Are we going to head to the interior anytime soon? Oh, absolutely, Tara. We're uh, looking at playing Tobiano because I've heard that's a pretty good golf course, and uh, we'll see what else is out there. But it's hot. Kamloops is hot right now, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's hot. It's hot. Now, at Shisco tweets, I saw the episode last week where Ryan got paintballed. How are your wounds doing? Uh, they're doing a little bit better. Uh, I want to say that they really come into effect when I'm putting. Um, but I can't really blame it on that. They're doing a little better, but I do have... Please don't use that as an excuse no, for No, no, I actually, I actually do have a couple, what's going, what looks like permanent scars coming into my back. So. All right, so if you got a question, tweet us. At Golf, And don't run through paintball without a shirt on. Go figure. <laughs> I'm very angry. I can't putt. I can drive the ball. Chip the ball, can't put the ball. That was the 11th hole, and I played it horribly while he got a birdie. And then when we came back to the golf cart, funny story, I was about to break his shin in two, but then he bought me a Palm Bay. And friendship prevailed. Grapefruit Palm Bay. <laughs> On the game of friendship, Everybody wins. We're just two heterosexual guys <laughs> palling around. <laughs> gotta bend your knees. Is that a part? First part of the day. Yeah. Is That's it? a fill right there. That's a fill. Let's go. That's a fill Mickelson jump. This he much air. Eddie lands on his heels. Exactly. This much air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hole 15, 139 yard par three, the KP. Over the water, by the way. Over the drink. Speaking of which, the loser's gotta take a drink. A nice, rusty shot of Jose Cuervo. I love me some tequila. And by I love, I mean, no, I do not. But I'm not too worried about it, because KP's, that's not really Sully's forte. That's my only forte. That's the only thing I've won at so far on this show. So I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's find out. KP, loser does tequila. Tequila. It's a race against time. There's horse flies all over this tee box. Hit the ball. We got to get out of here. Go! I'm up on Sully by a couple of strokes right now, and since I won the first two episodes, I got to even the playing score somehow. So, what better way than tequila at the Whistler Golf Club? Cheers. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Day one. Done. It's in the can. We hit Porto Cove, drove some golf balls on the way up to Whistler, hit Whistler Golf Club. A great looking course, very lush, very green. Unfortunately, my scorecard, not very good. I'm winning by eight strokes, but that's yeah. not unusual because that happens all the time. Yeah, we're used to this, but it's a four stroke improvement from day one of last episode. It's true, and things can turn around, still 18 holes to go. That's really what I'm hoping for, crossing all the fingers. Coming up next, the off day, you are watching well over par. hardest part's been the road games. Um, you know, I love going on the road, and I think first season looks phenomenal, but um, 
There's a woman waiting at home for me every night that I love and I haven't been there for her. And it's taken its toll on our relationship. She knows it and I know it. It's been, it's been tough. Shut up! Don't talk to me like that! What's up, everybody? Day off of the Whistler episode. We got a busy day planned. A little adrenaline junkies we are, I guess. Bungee jumping in Whistler, zip trekking Whistler, and to finish it off, we're going peak to peak on the gondola. Are you ready? I am so excited. Like a Rottweiler with a fudgicle. I don't know what that means. Now let's bring back, uh, we'll rewind a few episodes. Episode one, we went to Arizona. We did a bungee jump in the Grand Canyon. You got a little misty eyed. Are you going to be a little bit more prepared this time? Sunburned eyes is what I had. This time I have Visine, the eyes are juicy, the pupils, rods and cones, they're ready to rock, so we're gonna do it up. <laughs> let's find out if Ryan lives up to his words. Day off, bungee jump, let's do it. So when you break down, you break it down again. When you give up. Hey, hey Sully, the last words? Oh, uh, you recording? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Can't hear that. Five, four, three, oh, wait, 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 two, hang one. On, <laughs> Check it out. No, no, hang on, hang on. Okay, I got a new thing we're gonna do here. Okay. All right. What? Okay. Are we recording? Yeah. yeah. New story. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the day off. <laughs> now we're good. <laughs> All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Josh Fair Jump Master. Josh, this place is pretty legit, not too shabby, especially on a day like today. How much are we talking for a jump? Uh, the first jump you got is uh, 130 bucks, but that also includes a lifetime membership with Whistler Bungie, and uh, you get a free t-shirt for every time you jump as well, so uh, it's a pretty good deal, and not to mention you're in a pretty amazing location, and uh, it's a one-of-a-time, or one-of-a-kind kind of place out here. Now, Josh, bungee jumping is a bit of a sexist sport. Uh, why would you say that is? Well, I mean, the men have to deal with a few other issues uh, that the ladies don't have to deal with. Um, it's a little bit more aggressive on the, uh, the twig and giggle berries down in the harness, so... Um, there's There'll be no giggling. There's no giggling in most cases. It's uh, a lot of uh, sore faces when they come up. Along the Day off continues here in Whistler. We conquered our fears by going bungee jumping this morning. Now we're about to do a little zip trek. I'm here with Zip Masters Ashley and Tom. Can you kind of break it down? What's what are we about to do? So we're about to uh, zip over the Fitzsimmons Creek here. Uh, you'll be about 120 feet from the ground. It's going to be pretty exciting, pretty exhilarating. Uh, so it's going to be fun. All right, now what kind of speeds are we looking at here? Uh, we're looking around 55 kilometers an hour um, on a good day. Today's a beautiful day, so I think we'll be hitting snow speeds. <laughs> Day off continues. You are watching well over par. Whistler Zip Trek Eco Tour is done and done. Whistler Bungee before that. Now we're going to take it one higher to the peak to peak gondola. But let's debrief. That was freaking awesome. If I debrief, we can de sweat a little bit. I'm going to try. That was, uh, that was yeah. a little intense. They told us we'd be going 60K. I'm like, ah, what's 60K? I was death gripping that rope. 150 feet over Fitzsimmons Creek. There's probably some bears down there roaming around. Yeah. It was cool. That was fast. That was all right. Actually, one person that went zero kilometers an hour, cameraman Brent, the man holding the camera as we speak here, went down, couldn't make it, went back down into the middle and stopped. <laughs> Zipmaster Ashley had to pull him in 
very embarrassing for all of us. Very selfish on Brent's part to pull that off. But anyways, coming up next, peak to peak on that. Coming up next, peak to peak on that. Let's go higher. We have made it to the peak to peak, the longest continuous lift system in the world. You know how long it is, Sully? 4.4 kilometers. That's long. You know how much you gotta pay to get up here? It's $45 to get on the hill, and that will take you anywhere. Any lift you want, so you can bring out the mountain bike, the snowboard, the skis, ski blades, if you will, and you rock the peak to peak, all for one low price. Which is what we're gonna do right now. Right now. Day two is finished. We hit Whistler Bungee, Whistler Zip Check, the peak to peak gondola ride. Checked out the village a little bit. Not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. I love Whistler, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, the Australian people up here are amazing. I like the accents. They're beautiful. Uh, now we're gonna go hit a brewery, but cameraman Brent wants a beer, camera's gotta go away, yeah, it happens. But tomorrow, what's coming tomorrow? Tomorrow we get the chance to play one of the BC's most luxurious golf courses, Nicholas North. Named after a famous golfer you've probably heard of if you're watching our show. And uh, we'll see what happens. Ryan's down eight strokes, which is safe to say that I'm taking home the gold medal. And a shaved chest. Didn't make sense. But it will, tomorrow. You're watching Well Over Far. On the next Well Over Par. <laughs> Day three, course two. Nicholas North, an absolute gem here in Whistler. We've been waiting to play this one for a while. But right now, I'm currently down by eight strokes. And he thinks he's going to win. I will not lose by a single stroke because I'm up eight. He has to overcome a nine shot deficit. Not a chance. His chest waxed tomorrow. No, I need to win because I have no hair on my chest. So if there is a waxing, it's just going to be skin right off. So this is the must win. And just quadruple bogeyed the first hole without losing the ball. Reach the second hole here at Nicholas North. It's a par three. And we're introducing a bit of a new wager because I keep winning. We gotta let Ryan get him back somehow. I chalk it up to him putting on way too much sunscreen. It would make up for the pastiness, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the, whoever is losing the match from now on on par threes can wager one, two, or three strokes. If you get the KP, you win the hole and you can win one, two, or three strokes. Yeah. Now, this hole, what would you like to wager? Well, I just went up by you on two strokes. Well, on this game, so now I'm only trailing by six. So one wager, or one stroke for this first wager is on the line. It's just that easy. Let's do it. Done. <laughs> He had a nice shot. I'll give him that. That was a nice shot. We met our favorite person on the course. It's Lizzie. She is the beer cart technician. Yeah, the technician. Nice to meet you guys. Very nice. Now you're traveling from the UK. Yes, I am. And whereabouts are we talking? Uh, from the UK. I'm from London. I've just competed in the Olympics. Did you not see me? There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I won gold in the 5,000 meters. As you can tell <laughs> from my physique. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only problem is nobody watched the Olympics, I think. That's probably what it came down to. Are you joking? 
I'm sorry. Well, nobody saw them when they happened. It was all prime time on NBC, right? Oh, so. Well. Anyway, guys, I gotta go now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's okay. let's 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 talk important stuff here. Not the Olympics aren't, but let's okay. talk booze. Okay. Uh, what do we got in the cart? How much is it? Okay, you have got all types of domestic beers, and they're six dollars each. Twenty-two for a four pack. Great deal there, don't you agree? We also have Jaegers for guys who are proper guys. So you guys are going to do Jaegers in a bit. <laughs> can we define <laughs> proper guys real quick? Proper guys are ones that can just do anything when they're told to. <laughs> in my eyes. That's the key to Lizzie's heart right <laughs> yeah. there. Now you know. Triple, double, double so far. Actually, quad. Quadruple, double, double. Oh. Four holes, three drops. Not good. It's not good. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage. All right, guys, are you ready? Her name is Candy. She doesn't bite hard. It's all about the little things in golf that amuse us. That's what the show's about, Wall Over Par. And check this out. We just made the turn, 10th hole, so we just bought food, and they warn you that crows are surveying. Exclamation mark! Rick Rail, Seattle Mariners baseball. Oh, there it is. Waiting for the choke. There it is. Reggie Miller style. Made the turn, grab myself a snack at the 10th hole. Pop a sheet muffin. Playing pretty bad golf, but things are turning around because I take a bite. Inside, rhubarb. Rhubarb. I've never heard of that before, but it's delicious. I too found the rhubarb addition to your muffin delightful. not start the day very well. I came into this course down by eight strokes. I put on the shades, thanks Sundog for that by the way. I'm now trailing by four strokes on the 17th par three, the final KP, so I'm laying down the max. Three strokes, I gotta get back into this game. 188 yards off the whites, water hugging the left side, a bit of an island green. This hole is tough, so I'm confident Sully will put in the water. I was trailing by four strokes, including day one at Whistler Golf Club. I hit mine a little closer, still a hideous shot, but a little closer. Picked up four strokes. Adam just hit his into the woods. He had to drop, just shot four. So I got a bit of a cushion now if I need it. I got a river in front of me. My short pitches have not been working all game. Let's see how we do. It's going left, but. It's up there. I won my first wager. I won my first. Let's get in the chest wax. Boom! The accommodation for Well Over Par's Whistler episode, episode three, were generously provided by Delta Hotels and Resorts. For more, log on to deltahotels.com. Welcome to the wager, my friends. If you think you just saw a leprechaun dive into a pot of gold, you probably did. I won a wager. Pigs are flying. It's pretty amazing. 
brings us to the wax hair removal bar and brings us to a soon shirtless Adam Forsyth. Are you pretty excited? Define excited, this is gonna suck. I guarantee Ryan will never beat me in golf again because this is going to be brutal. It's a forest down there. We're here with Waxpert, Samantha. Samantha, thank you very much for taking on this special case. Uh, have you ever dealt with something this ferocious? This hairy? Never. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> It's a special case. Now, now, what are we working with here? What's what's the process? So, um, soft wax. We're going to apply it onto the hairy model and rip it off. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> Hopefully you watched episode two, the last wager. Here we go. <laughs> now, if you were wondering, it's the well over par logo. See, we've got the nice double square in there. We're working on square number two now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> mm, that's nice. On the plus side, you look amazing. Shut up. Are you ready? No. One. Two. I'm hurting. My hands hurt. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Is, is the wax nice though? It's good temperature. You're enjoying it. The lotion's fantastic. Can you do the back? The back of my neck? <laughs> I'm all in. He's gone. He, he wants some more. He wants some more. I know I'm red in the face. Does that really hurt? I guarantee you I'm not losing another episode this season. I'm very disappointed right now. We're at the Wax Hair Removal Bar. Waxbar.ca. Home of... The back, sack and crack, and Adam only got his back and his chest wax. I mean, it's a bit of a cop out, don't you think? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Are um, you kidding me? Yeah, that was that was fantastic. That was Christmas for me right there. My first wager win, and it couldn't have come in a better way. Uh, I'd like to thank Samantha for doing a great job. She did a great job, did she not? She did do a great job. Okay, thanks a lot to everybody that helped us out uh, in and through Whistler, of course, right here, waxbar.ca. An awesome time. This is fantastic. Stay tuned to welloverpar.com for much, much more. I'm going to drink. I made the turn here. I got myself a poppy seed muffin. At least I thought it was. Then I just covered, discovered. Nice little uh, treat inside. Rhubarb. So, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh now. I made the turn here at Nicholas North and uh, appears to be the course that keeps giving. Fuck off, Sully. I've been planning this for at least 12 hours. I need to see that. <laughs>